hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix skate game direct x function error dxgi memory segment group error dxgi error device removed error or if you are getting this error direct x function filled with out of memory error in skate game on pc then here follow the fixes the first fix is to restart your pc so just click on windows icon then click on power menu and then select restart once your device restart then you can launch the game and check fix 2 is to rename or delete the skate saved game folder but you must create a backup first because all saved settings and saved game progress will be lost so here how to do it go to this pc then go to c drive open users folder open your username folder and then open app data folder if you don't see app data folder then click on this view in the drop down you will see so hidden items so check mark hidden items then open app data folder then open local folder and right click this skate folder first copy it and paste it to desktop first and then you can right click on skate folder and delete it or either you can also rename it to another name and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix 3 is to enable disable steam overlay so open steam go to library right click on skate game select properties and make sure enable the steam overlay while in game is toggled off so after turning it off launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if that doesn't work then again go to properties this time turn on enable the steam overlay while in game toggle it on and then you can launch the game and check so enable disable steam overlay and see which one work for you you can also switch launcher if you have the game in steam then switch to ea app and install the game on ea app and then you can launch the game and check and if you have the game on ea app then install steam and install the skate game on steam and then launch the game and check fourth solution is to change exploit settings only for the skate exe file so in windows search type windows security and open it then click on app and browser control then under exploit protection click on exploit protection settings then click on program settings then click on add program to customize and then select choose exit file path now browse to the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game open skate folder then select skate exe file and then click on open now you will see this type of interface what you have to do you have to select all these boxes and make sure everything is turned off now the control flow guard is turned on so turn it off you have to tick mark and make sure everything is turned off Now randomized memory allocation is also turned on, so turn it off. Tick mark every option and next to each option turn it off. Now validate heap integrity is also turned on, turn it off. Let me check it once again. You have to tick mark every category and make sure everything is turned off. Now click on apply, click yes to allow. Now you can go ahead and launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. This has also solved the issue for many players so I hope this will work for you as well. Later in future if you want to remove and bring back game to default settings then click on this remove button and that's it. Fifth solution is to modify the game launch options. So open Steam, go to library, right click on skate game, select properties. Now in general tab in the launch options type minus dx11, close the tab and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then again go to properties, this time type minus dx12, then launch the game and check. If it's still not working again go to properties, this time type minus d3, d11, close the tab and then launch the game and check. If it's still not working, again go to properties, remove this command and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Sixth solution is to uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So what you have to do, 
open stream right click on skate game select manage select browse local files now it will take you to the game installation folder here open installer folder open ea anti cheat folder now double click ea anti cheat dot installer exe file click on yes to allow now here you have to click on uninstall all option now when you see uninstall success message close this now open steam launch the game and it will reinstall the ea anti cheat if you have the game on ea app then you can click, click on play button and this will reinstall the e anti cheat and your problem will be solved also uninstall third party anti cheat software such as face it and cheat it etc and then you can launch the game and check if that doesn't work then again go to steam right click skate game select manage browse local files open installer folder open e anti cheat folder double click e anti cheat installer exe file click yes to allow now again click on uninstall all once you see uninstall success close this now go to the ea website to install ea anti cheat now once you are on this website scroll down then click on download the ea javelin anti cheat installer and once this ea anti cheat installer get installed then double click ea anti cheat installer exe file that you have downloaded now then click on yes to allow now from the drop down select skate and then click on install option it will take few seconds now once you say install success message then close it and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not now seven solution is to close the daemon tools uninstall interception driver auto hotkey ds4 windows virtual controller etc close these in task manager and disable them in device manager if applicable so if you are getting this soft limited daemon tools error then you can follow this video tutorial on my youtube channel to solve this error and if you are getting this software cannot be used at the same time as game virtual controller so if you are getting this error then you can follow this video tutorial on my youtube channel to solve this and if you are getting this software cannot be used at the same time as the game auto hotkey error then you can follow this video tutorial on my youtube channel to fix this error i have provided all this video link in my video description so you can watch this video from my video description fix 8 is to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver for nvidia user you can go to the nvidia website for amd user you can go to the amd website for intel user you can go to the intel website links are provided in the description so i am showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver so go to this nvidia official website and once you are on the nvidia website select your versions of your graphic card driver from here then select windows operating system then click on find scroll down you have to download geforce game ready driver whatever is the latest version the latest version will be on top it is driver 581.29 so click on view click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option select this custom advanced option then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box then hit next after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done then restart your pc once and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not nine solution is to roll back graphic card driver so if still your problem is not solved then roll back graphic card driver if you run an nvidia gpu then revert drivers back to version 577.00 if you run an amd gpu then revert back drivers to version 25.5.1 i will show the example over here so go to the nvidia website and once you are on the nvidia website select your version of graphic card driver version from here then click on find scroll down click on view more versions now look for 577.00 version this is the 577.00 version click on view click on download and then install driver 577.00 version on your pc and then launch the game and check now if you are a amd users then go to this amd website scroll down now select your version of graphic card driver from here then click on search click on previous versions then expand your operating system as per your pc now look for version 25.5.1 so this is the 25.5.1 version download it and install it on your pc and then check if your problem is solved or not now 10 solution is to install DirectX. so go to this website it is a microsoft official website and once you are on this website click on download 
and run this exe file and install it on your pc and then you can launch the game and check 11 solution is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in compatibility mode so open steam right click on skate game select manage browse local files right click on skate exe file select properties now go to the compatibility tab then tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and then check if that doesn't work then again go to compatibility tab and this time select run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 and then click on apply ok and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then from the drop down select windows 7 hit apply ok and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then click disable full screen optimizations as well then hit apply ok and then launch the game here and check if it's still not working then again go to properties go to compatibility tab and untick all these three boxes hit apply ok and follow other fixes mentioned in this video 12 solution is to windows security users allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall so in windows search type windows security and open it now click on virus and threat protection scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game open the skate folder select skate exe file then click open to add it to the list now go back click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse now browse to the game installation folder wherever your game is installed open skate folder select skate exe file and click open to add it click on add now in my case it is already added after adding it make sure both private and public is stigma then click ok to save changes now you can launch the game and check now if you are using any third party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender then allow the game exe file to your antivirus program as well or you can simply turn off your antivirus program launch the game and check and later on you can turn on your antivirus program fix 13 is to run the game on dedicated graphic card driver so in windows search type graphics settings and open it click on add desktop app now open the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game open skate folder select skate exe file then click on add after adding it find it expand skate now next to gp preference from the drop down select high performance and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not 14 solution is to verify the game files steam users and ea users repair the files so if you are a steam user go to the steam right click on skate game select properties go to install files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification of the file has been completed then you can launch the game and check now if you have the game on ea app open ea app go to skate and then click on manage and then click on repair option and once the repair of the files has been done then you can launch the game and check 15 solution is to install visual c++ files so go to this official microsoft website link is given in the description now once you are on this website scroll down download x86 and x64 version download both the version and you have to install both x64 and x86 version so click on x86 if you see install option then click on install and if you see repair option then click on repair and then install it now click on x64 version now if you see repair option then click on repair if you see install option then click on install and install it on your pc and after installing both x86 and x64 version you can launch the game and check 16 solution is to run ea app or steam as an administrator so on your desktop right click on steam client and then select run as administrator if you have game on the steam and if you have the game on ea app then right click on ea app launcher and then select run as administrator and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not 17 solution is to update windows so go to windows settings click on windows update on the left then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then download and install them then restart your pc once and after your pc restart then you can launch the game and check now 18 solution is to unplug external devices such as hotas pedal racing wheel razor tatras 
disconnect all the additional usb adapter connected to your pc disconnect additional joystick controllers connected disconnect vpn disable overlay close all the overlay apps such as discord nvidia amd overlay close all the overclocking application such as msi afterburner riva tuner turn off razer synapse razer lighting effects and msi dragon center cars air software close third party services such as namic services lighting services.exe etc in task manager remove the underworld and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not 19 solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game so this is the last solution if none of the solution work for you then uninstall the game from your pc and after uninstalling it you can restart your pc once and then reinstall the skid game on your pc if you have installed the game earlier on c drive then this time try to install on external drive ssd drive and then launch the game and check and if you have installed the game on external drive earlier then this time try to install it in local drive c drive and then launch the game and check so i hope by following these fixes you were able to fix direct x error direct x function error dxgi error device removed in skid game or you are able to fix direct x function failed with out of memory error on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you